In this example, I want to solve for x and y. Now what I'm going to have to do is use the fact that I have a quadrilateral inscribed within a circle. Whenever you have a quadrilateral inscribed within a circle, the opposite angles are supplementary, which means their measures sum to 180. So that means the measure of angle z plus the measure of angle x equals 180 degrees and the measure of angle y plus the measure of angle c equals 180 degrees. So what I'm going to do now is substitute in the values for these various measures. So the measure of angle z is represented by the expression 12y minus 2. The measure of angle x is represented by the expression x plus 98. And I'm going to drop the degree symbol for simplicity's sake. So let me uh, clean this up by combining like terms. So we have 12y plus x plus 96 equals 180. And let's go ahead and subtract 96 from both sides so that this uh, equation with two variables in it will be in standard form. So we have 12y plus x equals 84. Okay, now since this equation has two variables in it, I'm not going to just be able to solve this and find out exactly what x is. I'm going to have to now substitute the values into this other equation, and then I'll have two equations with two unknowns. And then I can use um, you know, the substitution method or the addition method to be able to solve what is called a system of equations. So let's um, first substitute in these expressions in for angle y and angle c. So 2x plus 62 plus negative 1 plus 17y, okay, equals 180. So let's clean this up by combining like terms. So I have 2x plus 17y plus 61 equals 180. And I subtract 61 from both sides. Okay. So now I have two equations with two unknowns. This one isn't exactly in standard form because uh, generally you should put the x first, but it doesn't really matter because we're not going to solve this using the addition method. Or, um, what I'm going to do is solve this using what is known as the substitution method. So because each of these have two variables in them. I can't just find what x or y would equal from just one of the equations. So if it had just one variable in it, then I can solve for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation here and solve it for x. The reason I'm choosing this one is because there is no coefficient in front of the x. Okay, since this one has no coefficient, it'd be really easy to solve this equation for x in terms of y. I just subtract 12y from both sides and I get 12y plus 84 is equal to x. So now what I have is an equation for x in terms of y. So that means wherever I see an x in this equation, I can just plug this value um, or this expression in and then I would only have one variable. I'd only have a y in this equation here. So I'm going to put this in for x. So I'll have 2 negative 12y plus 84 plus 17y equals 119. Okay, now let's just uh, solve for y. I'll first distribute the 2 to each of these terms here. So that's going to give me negative 24y plus 168 plus 17y equals 119. Now I'll combine my y's, so that's negative 7y plus 168 equals 119. Okay, and now I just need to subtract 168 from both sides, so I'll have negative 7y is equal to negative 49. And then divide both sides by negative 7, so that gives me y is equal to positive 7. So that's the first step. We wanted to find x and y. Well, this equation here told me that as soon as I figured out what y is, I would know what x is because x is equal to negative 12 times whatever y happens to be plus 84. Well, now I know what y is, so I can just 
fact substitute this in here. Okay, so x is equal to negative 12 times 7 plus 84. So x is equal to negative 12 times 7 is 84. So 80 or negative 84, excuse me, plus 84. So x is equal to 0. So the answer is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 7.